everyone, and welcome back to Jesse Heck Creative. Today we're going over Cat Mario, Cat Luigi, Cat Peach, and Cat Toad with a Super Bell from Super Mario 3D World and Bowser Fury from Jack Specific. Before we begin, make sure to hit that like button and smash that subscribe button. Now let's get to it. So here's the box for Cat Mario, Cat Peach, and Cat Luigi. We have Super Mario 3D World multi-pack over here with the logo and Bowser Fury right over here. We got Cat Mario, we have the logo. We have Cat Mario with a picture of the three right over here, as well as the logo. On the other side, we have the logo and Cat Mario. On the back, we have the three with a bio. Expand your world with a set of highly detailed figures. Each Super Mario 3D World cat figure is highly posable with 11 points of articulation. The logo right over here once again and on the bottom we have a bunch of legalese and right here we have the figures let's open them up and take a look at what's inside cat mario has a really nice sculpt but pretty bad paint there's a weird bubble by this eye that i'm not sure it should be there or not there's a scratch over here a couple scuffs and stuff you get in a fight with bowser well before getting put in the package i'm not sure but it's a pretty all right piece the mouth is kind of furrowed i wish it was a little bit brighter happier nicer the paint isn't really that great over here the sculpting is nice but the paint just isn't there more scuffs over here the body is at least pretty okay. Some weird markings over here. The, te the texture is pretty interesting though. It's nice. We also have a weirdly done elbow. Kind of strange. And the tail is pretty okay. I don't like this over here. Put it on the foot or something with all the rest of the legalese or whatever. That's a shame it's on the tail. Put it somewhere else, Jax. That'd be way better. Yeah, that just looks like a sore thumb. The tail is pretty nice though as a piece. The paws and the feet. The whole paw thing is great. I love how they make that work with this. It's very cute and adorable. It looks nice, but as a piece, this specific one it isn't that great so be on the lookout for one with better paint as far as articulation goes for cat mario the head can swivel around left and right pretty well goes back up this far and down this far to the chest good swivel here you get some up this far and down you can go all the way around but you have to really watch out for that face and these tuft over here you do get an elbow that's kind of funky it's just okay 90 degrees you get a swivel over here the same for this we also get out this far with both legs and in up not at all. Barely. That's kind of a shame. Back. Tiny bit. You do get a little bit of swivel up here too if you like. You get a knee that's very loose. 90 degrees basically. And down. The foot can go down and up. And that's basically it. The articulation is kind of bare bones in this figure and that's a shame. I think a lot of the effort went into the new sculpting and not the articulation. Bummer. His cat tail can also go left, right, all the way around if you want. It can also go up and down and swivel a little bit. It's a nice piece and works out really well. Cat Mario stands at about three and a half inches tall to the top of his head and around three and three quarters inches tall to the top of his ear next to the 2.5 inch Mario, 4 inch Mario, and 5 inch movie Mario. He looks nice next to them, but I feel like he used some red or something in his design, maybe. I'm not sure why he's yellow, probably to harken back to regular cats, but yeah, he looks good in this group, maybe a little bit short in a way. Cat Luigi is similar to Cat Mario, but with a lot of differences. His ears are more rounded. It also reminds me of the frog suit in a way, kind of. It's very strange. He has a lighter green with a darker green on the tail, as well as the back of the ears, and the sort of cap he has on over here. We we have some nice looking white on here. The paint is actually really nice on this guy. Pretty nice. On the leg, it isn't that great over here. It's very, very frilly and weird. On this one too, it's just all right in the paint for that leg at least. The paws are pretty fine, I think. And the paws on the bottom are pretty all right. There's some weird scuffs over here. And it's a nice looking figure. The head is good. The eyes are pretty nice, actually. They're very well done. The around portion of this doesn't really work that well. The hair is all right, though. That's pretty uh, nice. Nice little detail they put over there for the hair. It looks like penguin-like almost, I think. It's a nice outfit. It just doesn't really scream cat to me. I'm not sure why. Maybe it's the ears. As far as articulation goes for Cat Luigi, the head can swivel around left and right. You get back this far. Forward, not really that much. That's a shame. It doesn't really go down. That's kind of a bummer. It goes up pretty okay not that great down a little bit you do go all the way around though you do get an elbow going up this far and down swivel at the wrist same with this arm you do get splits out and back at, up not really that great back not really that great all the articulation went to this split and it doesn't even go all the way up that's a shame knee goes up this far that's it not even 90 the foot goes down this far and up barely okay he's even worse than mario that's a shame bummer for the articulation once again luigi's cat tail is good posability down up left right all the way around swivel however you want it works out pretty nice it's cute don't know why it isn't white tufted though cat luigi stands at about four and a quarter inches tall to the top of his head maybe four and a half inches tall to the top of his ears next to the 2.5 inch luigi four inch luigi and five inch luigi from the movie over here 
They all look nice together, but I still think he looks pretty short. Is it a cat thing to be short? I'm not exactly sure, but he looks nice even though the color green is brighter than the rest, I think. He looks really good. Hello everyone, and thank you so much for watching so far. Make sure to click like, subscribe, share, and leave a comment. You can also click the bell icon for more creativity. Now let's get back to it. I really love the look on the head for Cat Peach. The hair is really nicely done. The little earrings are wonderful. The face is incredibly excellent. It's basically Princess Peach. That's awesome. The ears are pretty well done. The crown is amazing. I love the crown detail. It's really nice. They had to kind of not do the other baubles they have just red and then no blue. But they have blue down here, which is fine, and the eyes too. My big worry is this neck. It looks like it's going to break off or something, but we'll get to that when we get to articulation. This is so far the best cat character that I've seen. I really love the tail. It has white on the tip like Mario, not like Luigi, and the pink is really nicely done as far as the color is. The white is good on the body, the little paws are cute and smaller than Mario and Luigi's I believe. She's a little bit shorter and smaller, but she's no less of a cat, and I think the best cat for these three, well done Jax and well done Nintendo, the design for Cat Peach is wonderful. As far as articulation goes for Cat Peach, the head goes around left and right very nicely, very loose, back this far and forward pretty nicely. It doesn't break, I'm really happy about that, it's weird. Up this far really great down and all sort of the way around trying to just swivel this joint over here get it working it's a very slow process but when you get it swiveled you got it swiveled 90 degree elbow joint once again and down swivel over here pretty nice you also get out this far with the splits i believe that's bigger than mario splits and in up not really that far and back i didn't even notice this on here by the way this weird splotch that's strange okay whatever back this far on this and forward it's just pretty okay a little bit less than 90 down this far and up and yeah that's the articulation for Cat Peach. It's pretty okay, and it kind of bums me out that the articulation for the cats just isn't that great. Maybe it'll change with Toad. Peach's cat tail can go down, up, all the way around if you wish, left, right. It works out pretty nice, and it's really cute. This color pink is definitely great. Cat Peach stands at about three and three quarters inches tall to top for head, maybe four inches tall to top for crown or so, next to the 2.5 inch Peach, the four inch Peach, and the movie five inch Peach. It is a nice figure. Again, it's really short, and I I don't know if it really works for the character, I think. I'm also really surprised to see she has some legs, so that's really interesting. But it was just a dress for her bottom half for years now. So here is the box for Cat Toad. He has a little bell, the only accessory in this grouping. He looks really cute up there. Super Bell, if I may add. Mario on the top, Super Mario over here. All the logos and legalese here and on the bottom. On the back, we have Cat Toad with Super Bell. Cat Toad is a form Toad can transform into by using the Super Bell item. Cat Toad can also scratch enemies from up close on the ground as well as slide into them. The rest of the wave down here, Cat Toad with a couple articulation points over here. Now let's check out Cat Toad and open up this box. Cat Toad is so small, I could just fit him in his own little segment here. He's really cute and adorable looking. The blue is very vibrant. The white is very vibrant. The eyes are painted on really nicely. The little ears are really painted really well. I love the little tuft of white on the tail. We have some nice paint all around. The little tufts are cute and adorable. Yeah, he's a really nice and sweet and I love this guy. He looks wonderful. The tail is really cute. It is a little positioned close to the head. That's my one gripe. And he does have some stability problems with standing a little bit. We have to move his arms out a little bit to get him to work and stand. But once you get him like that fine, he works out pretty well in this case. Here's the only Super Bell that I have. It's a nice item. It's really gold. It has a lighter gold striping around it and then a darker gold striping around it as well. A white bottom over there where the bell thing is, I guess. A little bell knocker on the bottom. The eyes are painted pretty nicely and well. Like every other thing in the Mushroom Kingdom has eyes on it. This is really sweet and cute. There's a little mold seam over here. That's fine, I guess. Every action figure has one of those. But this is a really nice piece. It looks great. And yeah, it's a good Super Bell piece. It's good to have more accessories for the Mario figures. As far as articulation goes with Toad, the head can swivel left and right, pretty loose, doesn't really go back or forward, a little bit back and forward kind of, it just sort of resets into position, you can't really get any tilt or anything like that, goes up this far and down, you do kind of get a swivel if you just want to swivel like this I guess, there's no real point to it though, and yeah that's kind of it, swivel right over here at the wrist, and the same for this arm over here, you do get a little bit of swivel as far as the feet go, but that's basically it, you want to keep him in one position otherwise he'll fall over. It's 
it's okay articulation for the figure. I think it's better than the rest though, just because he's so small and it works out so well. But that center of gravity is really hard to find. So when you find it, don't touch the figure. Toad's cattail can go left, right, all the way around, swivel up, down, however you want. My favorite part about it is that the little logo thing is not on the tail. It's actually on the body. It's very dark and it's hard to see, which is nice. That's very good. Good job, Jax. Cat Toad stands in between two and a quarter and two and one half inches tall to top of his head and two and a half and two and three quarters inches tall to top of his ears. He's ridiculously short in comparison with his 2.5 inch counterpart as well as his four inch counterpart and his five inch counterpart from the movie. It's weird how small he is. I just can't get over it. Yeah, he's just really short, even for being Toad. And here they all are next to each other. The color coordination is pretty cool. We got yellow for Mario, green for Luigi, of course, pink for Peach, and blue for Toad with the Super Bell right next to them. They're awesome. I just really wish they were a little bit taller as far as the other figures go. Just by a quarter of an inch would be great for each, maybe. And also here's Jesse Heck Creative. Those cat suits look really nice and warm. Maybe I'll try one on. Let's see what the Super Bell turns me into. Uh... Meow? Overall, I'm not really a big fan of these figures. They look really nice from afar, but up close and actually articulating them, they fall apart like a ball of yarn. Mario has a lot of weird paint issues and doesn't really look right, I don't think. Luigi has rounded ears and a different colored tail than the rest. Peach looks pretty okay, I think, but has some weird articulation problems. And Toad looks the best out of all of them, yet he's way too short and lacks articulation. These would be really nice figures if they were all single released and had much more care put into them, but they are re-released and thus have worse paint and articulation overall slapdash and put together for a three pack. The Super Bell is also a really nice accessory. I think the most love and care was ironically put into that little piece. I feel like these would be way better if taken more time to sculpt them, but as of now, these cats are quite the mixed bag. They'll be let out of it next week in the Super Mario Brothers movie coming out on April 5th in theaters everywhere. So get your tickets now and I'll see you at the movies. So which one is your favorite? Let me know in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching Jesse Heck Creative. Feel free to click like, subscribe, share, or leave a comment. You can also visit us at jesseheckcreative.com where you'll find more reviews like this one. Thanks again for watching and keep being creative. Stay tuned!